Asha. I'm here because I love teaching. You can find me at my YouTube channel, Asha Heba. Education's purpose is to replace an empty mind with an open one. This is a quote from Markham Forbes. In today's lecture, I'll be discussing on isometric projection. Two rectangular plates are placed centrally with dimensions 100 by 60 by 20 mm and 100 by 40 by 20 mm, such that longer edges are parallel. Draw the isometric projection of the combination. So you are having two rectangular plates and the dimension of each of the rectangular plates are given. One is 100 by 60 by 20. The other one is 100 by 40 into 20 mm. You need to draw the isometric projection of the combination of these two rectangular plates. So here the one rectangular plate is 100 mm, 60 and thickness is 20 mm. The other one is 40, 100 and 20 mm. So you need to write the isometric projection of this combination of solids. So take any point on the isometric sheet. So this is the isometric sheet. So towards right it is 30 degree inclination line. Towards left it is 150 degree inclination line. So whatever you are drawing, you are drawing on these 30 degree inclination line. So each box measures about 10 mm. So let's start the problem. So take any point or start from any point. Count 100 mm means count 10 boxes towards your right. You are standing here towards your right. 100 means each measures 10 mm. So 10 boxes towards your right. And 60, 6 boxes to, towards your left. Again, 10 box towards your right and 6 box towards. Then you will complete the rectangle of 100 by 60 mm. Now the thickness of the slab is 20 mm. So from each of the corner go up by two boxes, vertically two boxes in upward direction. Then join all the top corners. So you have drawn 20 two boxes you have gone up from each of the corner and join all the corners so this completes one rectangular slab so 160 and height is 20 mm now you need to draw another slab measuring 40 mm and the length is 100 mm and the height is 20 mm so from the center, the totally it is 60 mm. So from the center, 20 and 20 on either side, draw a line parallel. Because it says longer edges are parallel. 100 mm should be along the 100 mm side only. So this is 40 mm, 100. You have drawn the base of the rectangle. That is. 40 and 100 mm. From each of the corner go above the two boxes in upward direction. Then join all the corners. Join all the corners. So this completes the second slab. Now we have to write the visible edges so i can see the completely this line as the visible edges so till this i will be visible 
complete use the visible line thickness to represent which are the edges that are visible to you even the edge from here to here it is visible now the second slab i can see this part only the portion inside it will be hidden so the hidden lines can be in projection line thickness or you can erase also so here also you can see the hidden lines so only the outer edges will be visible to you so this completes the slab second slab so the first slab placed above the other thanks if you have any question you can find me at my youtube channel asha hembar